Hello, Stats class. This is Lesson 12 to A. Yes, it's the end of Chapter 12, but we're moving it to the part of Chapter 3 because it goes well there. So um, we are talking about nonlinear data. What if we graph this scatter plot and it's curved? And so we're talking about nonlinear data, like I said, means that a linear model that we've been learning how to do with all this diligence doesn't work or is not appropriate for this data. So then what? Do we just give up and say, oh, well, it's curved, so I guess we can't do it. No, nice try. No, we're going to do something about that. And there's a number of things we could do. In other math classes, you may have learned how to fit a curve. But in stats, what we usually do is we fix it by transforming the data. Or in other words, we do something to the data to make the curve straighten out. And I'm going to teach you how to do that this week. So for example, let's look at the triangles that you did in the warm-up. And I actually entered one possible set of data into my calculator so I could show you this on the screen. Here's the graph from the triangles. And remember that x was the side length and y was the area. In fact, let's draw that. And we were not really expecting to get a, a straight graph because um, you may remember some things about area from geometry that would give you a hint about that. It's really hard to tell on the calculator screen. See how it almost looks straight? It's kind of annoying, actually, the way it almost looks straight. And so I'm going to tell you that's actually kind of common for it to look straight until you do some other things to it. One of the things we could do is we could go to stat calc one variable stats, which is number, yeah, the second, first one, actually, we don't want one variable stats. We want linreg, which is eight, and we could tell it to find a re regression equation and all that. I actually already did that, and I put it in my y equals screen um, so it will graph along with the um, plot that I just showed you. So if I, actually, if I go ahead and highlight it so it will graph, that would be better. It's a little more obvious when you draw the line. And I hope you can tell that there's some points above the line and then some points below the line and then another point above the line. That's a clue that it is curved. It's even more obvious if you do residuals. So let me remind you how to do that. Um, I actually set up the residuals in plot two. So if I go to plot two instead of plot one, um, the way you graph residuals is you set this Y list to be resid instead of L2. And I got to that by going second stat and going to the bottom of this list. But so I'm just telling you that's where I got the residuals from. Um, and back to my plot two setup, after you do all of that, then you'd have to do that um, zoom thing again where we do zoom nine to make it set up our graph perfectly. And here I hope it's more obvious to you. It's more obvious to me that there's a curve there above, below, above. That is not a good sign. So that is a curved graph. I'm going to draw it more extreme looking over here that it's going it, to, it's not super obvious from the original. When you draw the line, that makes it more obvious because now I have some points above and some more points above and these points are below in the middle. And anytime that happens, it, it's a clue that it's curved, even if it's not real obvious originally. Um, so now that I've decided it's curved, a little bit of extra talking there, but that's okay. I've decided it's curved. We're going to think about how to straighten that curve. And so we're going to use what we know about geometry. What do we know about area? Area of a triangle is one half base times height, but in general, it's based on squaring something. It's based on square units. And if you know that, then that would help you to figure out how to straighten this curve. So that means that it's based on what's called a power function that you may have learned in Algebra 2 or maybe pre-calculus. A power function looks like y equals a 
times x squared, or a times x to the something. It might not always be squared, but in this case, it's square units. I'm going to assume that my area is based on square units somehow, and I could use that. I could fit this, shape, this type of equation to it, which is something you might have learned probably in pre-calc, but in stats, like I said, we usually transform the data. So there are two options for transforming to make this happen. We have two options. Actually, the third option would be to do what you learned in other classes. But you could either say, okay, well, if I square the x's, that should make it be like y equals a times whatever my new variable is. So that one of my options is to square the x's. Or I could do the opposite and say, let's say I wanted to leave the x's alone and not mess with them, but I could do something to the y. I could do the opposite and square root the y's. Remember, square root is the opposite of squares. And either one of these should um, straighten the curve if it really was based on x squared. So I'm not going to make you write down this next piece, but I'm going to actually show you on the calculator how you would do that. I'm going to go back into my stat edit. Here's my x's, here's my y's. I could try squaring the x's, and that would just be going over to list 3 and telling it to do list 1 squared. Um, and it does it. And then I would want to plot list 3 and list 2 instead of list 1 and list 2. So I'm going to go back to my second y equals, and I'm going to change this plot, turn plot 1 back on again, and tell it to graph list 3 instead of list 1. Because what I just did is I put the squared x's into list 3. So if I do that, I also would want to turn off plot 2, because otherwise my residuals will get in the way. So let's turn it off, and then I'm going to go back to zoom 9 and ask myself, is that straighter than before? It's hard to tell, isn't it? I'm going back here to make sure that I did it right. I don't think I did it right. I did not hit enter after I typed the list three. I was like, that still looks curved to me. Okay, so now I'm gonna do zoom nine and it's straighter than before. So that straightened it quite a bit. Now it looks more like a straight line. If I did a new line of fit and a new residual plot, it would look much better. The other option is I could go back to here and instead of list three being the squared X's, I could make it be the uh, square root of y. Maybe I'll do that in list 4 instead. Let's clear what's in list 4. I'm going to take, um, so what I just did is I said list 3 is list 1 squared, and then I'm going to take list 4 and make it list 2. Actually, I want it to be the square root of list 2. So I can do that the same way I would square root a number. Make sure you're on the very top, and then square root is second x squared, and then list 2, that's second 2. Um, and if I do that, then I would want to plot, now I have to think about this, I would want to plot the original x's with the square root of y. So that would be L1 and L4 on my new plot. So let's do that. Plot 1 is now going to be list 1, which is the original x's, list 4, which is the square root of y. Um, and I'm going to zoom 9 again. And that also straightened the curve. So both of those were good solutions to my problem of having a um, not so straight curve or not so straight data set. So next, what would you do next after that? After you've managed to find something that straightens it, then you do linreg, linear regression command on your calculator to find the line of fit. I'll do that on my calculator in a minute. Using the transformed data. So you get to choose which of these options you like. I actually think it's less confusing to most people if you deal with the x's instead of the y's. So I actually I'll do it both ways. So if I did this x squared method, then I would need to do linreg of list. Remember, we changed the x's to be now in list 3 as squares. So I would want to tell it to do list 3 and list two, just like what I graphed. So if I do that, stat, calc, linreg, which is number eight, 
choose list three and list two instead of list one and list two. And what that does is it gives me a line of fit that is y hat equals 